Hi, today we're going to be doing a little electrostatic experiment with hundreds and thousands, these little tiny sprinkles, and a Talentini gelato, old container that is plastic, which is very important because as we know, plastic is an insulator. So essentially what we're going to be doing is we're just going to shake this up a bunch and uh, the system is going to be polarized and the protons in the sprinkles are going to be attracted to the next electrons that are now on the surface of the plastic. So let's just, I'm gonna start shaking it and I'm gonna come back to you when I'm ready. So, here we go. So uh, here's a little midpoint check, as you see. There are sprinkles on the side, but I'm just gonna go a little more. So that looks pretty good to me. As you can see, the they're definitely stuck to the side of the plastic, which we, it they should. And um, I'm gonna show you this basically the exact same thing, except we're going to be charging the plastic before. So now I'm going to like remove the sprinkles from the side and we are back. So I have this, um, I think it's wool. If not, it's going to be cotton and I'm going to charge this plastic. And uh, by rubbing this wool, I'm going to be putting like electrons onto the surface of the plastic in which then the sprinkles should be attracted to. So we're just going to rub it and then we're going to like flip it on the side. So give me one second. So you can see they're kind of starting to be stuck to this side where I was rubbing. Um, it's not going to be that much better since I have rubbed this a couple times and the fabric isn't the best, but essentially it's the same type of idea. We're just charging the plastic and the sprinkles are going to be attracted. And in the last um, demo, and if you move it, like they want to stay here to where it's charged, um, which makes sense. Uh, so this is a little electrostatics experiment. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, try it at home, I guess. So 